We're staying in our modifyingobjects.dwg file and we're going to have a look now at the move and copy commands when we're modifying objects in our drawing. So we're just going to zoom out slightly this time based on where we were in the last video and we need to be able to see this space up here in the middle of the floor plan. This space here is going to become a work area and what we need to do is move and copy the desk here and the chair here into that space. Now, don't worry if the desk and the chair look a little small. There's no problem there because we're not going to move them exactly. We just want to get them into this space and then fine tune it once the objects are there. So you've got two ways of setting up your move command. You can select an object like the desk and right click and you'll see that move is on the shortcut menu. I'll just hit escape there a couple of times or you can go up to the modify panel on the home tab on the ribbon and use move here and then it'll prompt you to select the objects. Each workflow has its own merits. Personally, I prefer to select an object and then right click like that and select move. Either way, you will be prompted for a base point once you've made your selection. I'm going to use the midpoint snap on the back of the desk there and just drag the desk up into the workspace here. And I'm not going to worry where it's going to go exactly, but I'm going to left click there like so. Now, the good thing is these bits of furniture are AutoCAD blocks. So I can just select the chair like so, and you'll see that it's got a grip. Every block has a grip. It's the insertion point for the block. And the good thing is I can just left click on that block, make it red, which means it becomes a hot grip. And I can just drag the block using the grip and place it just approximately underneath the desk like that and left click. Make sure though when you're using grips, you can see it's still selected, that you hit escape to deselect it. Otherwise the next time you move something, obviously that's in the selection set and it will get moved. We can now zoom into the work area where we've got the desk and the chair. We can get in nice and tight now like so and we're going to utilize the copy command in AutoCAD. So the good thing is now I can select both of these at once. That's my selection set there. And I want to copy that selection set. Now again, I can go up here and use copy on the modify panel, or I can right click and copy is on the shortcut menu. I'm going to use the shortcut menu, copy selection there. And again, we're prompted for a base point. The workflow and the process for copy is remarkably similar to the move command. But when you copy, you're leaving the original objects behind and creating a copy of them. Whereas the move command, you're moving them individually and not leaving anything behind. Again, I'm going to use the midpoint on the back of the desk and making sure I utilize my polar tracking to keep it level like that. Just drag it across to the right and left click there like so. Now you'll notice with the copy command, I can copy ad nauseum. I can copy as many copies of that desk and chair as I want. We only need one, so I just press enter to finish the command like so. So what we've done there now is we've got our work area and the objects we need in our work area utilizing the move and copy commands in AutoCAD.